Have you always wanted to play with mods or play mod packs but your computer just can't take it? Maybe your PC is a toaster and it crashes or freezes or it has unbearable lag when running mods? Well, I've got your back. Due to high request, it's time to cover the top 10 mod packs for low end PCs. Mod packs that you can run on weaker or older computers. Make sure to check out part 1 from last year for 10 more packs for less powerful computers. That will be linked in the description down below. Let's begin. Number 10, Create on a Potato. This mod pack is centered around the highly popular technology mod Create, offering a whole new way of automation and many new building possibilities to create awesome, amazing or inspiring contraptions. This pack was made for true create immersion whilst allowing it to run on lower end machines whilst accompanied with other mods. For an example, there are plans in the future to add quests to this pack too. This pack includes a set of nice quality of life mods with additions to armor, tools and weapons, farming, crafting, storage and many more new things and additions. This pack is mainly just for tech players who don't have the best hardware but still want to run some cool mods. Number 9 Awakening Classic Light. This pack is very close to the Awakening Classic pack and near enough complete in comparison, although it's a little stripped down in order to be a light pack, although you can actually join the same main servers that players with a full pack are running too, as the functionality of the mod pack and the quest progression are entirely identical, although certain client side mods adding visual enhancements or things like custom sounds and musics are removed in here in order to reduce the performance footprint of the pack to optimize it slightly to let less powerful machines experience it too. This pack has over 800 quests and a ton of mods that are configured to run alongside each other well and it receives a lot of updates pretty regularly. Number 8 Rad Pack Lite. This is a stripped down version of the roguelike adventures and dungeons pack in a more simplified and lighter version with certain options being lowered as in the case of world generation. Running perfect fine on a machine with 2GB of RAM and onboard graphics. This pack is a roguelike dungeon crawling mod pack where there's a ton of different dungeons and structures to plunder for loot. A pack that's a breath of fresh air if you're used to the hundreds of tech packs that are all the same and want something different. Something that's focused more on adventure and exploration and loot and fighting just like an RPG. In this pack you'll be slashing through dungeons whilst obtaining or crafting better gear and leveling up your skills to grow stronger in order to complete the quests in the pack and advance through their stages. But beware as the mobs will get stronger, they'll get better equipment and they'll grow in health points so there's definitely a challenge here too the longer that you play on it. Number 7 Modded One Block. If you know the One Block mode you'll love this pack. One Block is a game mode very similar to Skyblock, although you'll start on a singular block floating in stasis in midair, one that when broken will usually change into another block or provide limited resources each time in order to let you slowly expand the One Block into multiple blocks and then eventually a full on Sky Island, as in Skyblock. This is one block, but modded, meaning there's more mods thrown in here too to spruce up the experience. There's not a ton of mods though, so it will run well on lower hardware machines. There's cooking for blockheads for food and kitchenware, bonsai trees to grow smaller trees, journey map, doggy talents, and more little utilities. Number 6, Automaton. So of course I had to include a tech pack for all you tech lovers, one that's highly focused upon encouraging you to build factories to automate procedures in game through the use of large multi-block machines pieces. This is actually a questing mod pack too, one that has over 200 quests which will guide you through the major processes of the pack, with 98 mods meaning it should be fairly lightweight in comparison to many of the other kitchen sink ones. In the early game it's all about ore doubling before ramping up resource production. Once you acquire steel, you'll advance in power opportunities, gaining infrastructure to help organise resources and start automation before ramping up resources processing and power generation, eventually creating solar array and void miners, with mods allowing you to sidetrack yourself a little too to do a little bit of dungeon exploring in your off time. Number 5 FTB Light 3 This is a lightweight pack on 1.7.10 that's designed for beginners who are not too familiar with mods, or those who wanted a modded experience that's not too overwhelming for a computer that just simply can't withstand those big packs. This also works perfectly as a base pack if you want to add more mods or build off of it to create your very own mod pack a little more easily. The main mod 
fast crafts, which is included here, will increase performance in your game a lot, although you'll have to enable it once you hop in game. Expect a more bare bones experience here, but with some nice performance and utilities. Number 4, Farming Valley Light. I've always appreciated Farming Valley as a unique mod pack experience. That's why the light version deserves some appreciation too. A version that's easier to run, but that still contains the main pack's features, letting it run with as little as 1GB of RAM and still receive up to 100, 250 more FPS than the main pack can. This mod pack takes its inspiration from Stardew Valley and Harvest Moon, some of the best farming games, letting you build and maintain a small farm town to be able to progress in the game instead of the usual vanilla grinding protocols. Through spawning the goddess, you can progress in the pack by interacting with her as you build up a small town slowly and expand your farms, sell your crops to the store to gain some money and progress through the four different seasons which each offer special crops to buy that you can then plant and harvest. The local NPCs are the place that you can sell your goods to and there's a ton of twists along the way, as well as an achievement book which offers guidance in the form of some long term goals to achieve and follow. Number 3 Project Ozone Light With a limit of 135 mods, this is Project Ozone in the most lightweight form possible, made for computers that can't handle the main pack, made with performance and multiplayer as the main focus. This pack uses the better questing mod to grant many retrieval tasks to the player, quests that should detect no matter if you've unlocked it or not. For some context, Project Ozone is a skyblock based mod pack which starts you off in the sky and throws some challenges straight at you, letting you stay in the void world or advance to another dimension, offering freedom of choice although there's a limit upon lives, more difficult recipes and vanilla tool limitations in there also. Number 2 MC Eternal Light MC Eternal just got lighter for those with low end PCs wanting to try it out, along with some fun little new additions which are sprinkled in there too, such as Astral Sorcery and Wizardry's Twilight Forest expansion. The MC Eternal mod pack is an adventure one with a focus upon exploration through magic and science as you follow the quest line as you engage in combat with many different mobs and bosses and work towards automation. This modded experience has plenty to discover with unique twists and it's basically a kitchen sink pack which blends many of the fun parts of modded skyblock such as the quests, shop and RPG elements into an adventure pack with a huge emphasis on adventure with severely underrated mods in the mod list. There's also some fun and wacky challenges like collecting 1 million dirt blocks, battling every boss or creating a Jaffa cake factory. Number 1 Hexit Updated This mod pack bases itself around the original Hexit pack. If you wanted to relive the experience of Hexit while exploring it with your friends, this mod pack is for you as it brings the original Hexit's mod list, but in a more reimagined way with some new dimensions and dungeons to satiate that feeling of what's missing, revolving around Hexit's nostalgia but with a facelift for eager adventurers. It's also important to note that Hexit 2 has actually released now but this is more so for those who love the classic version. The cherry picked mods bring new bosses and structures, diamonds are more common to allow for less grinding and there's a litter of dungeons that will now spawn across the world, with many new performance based mods like better FPS, vanilla fix and phosphor for improving frame rates for lower end hardware. And that concludes the top 10 mod packs for low end PCs in 2022. Let me know below which of these 10 that I featured was your favourite and why and let us know about any other mod packs which are really good on weaker PCs just to help other people in this situation. Thanks for watching.